Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Eternal Card Game. Thanks you, thank you, thanks. Thanks for coming by. Hope you're having a great, uh, having a great weekend. So, uh, what deck do I have up today? Well, it needs to be a time deck. Alright, so, uh, here is my Sentinels deck. It's, uh, you know, Sentinels are kind of like golem or robot creatures, which are traditionally and typically very expensive and also very tough. So here's an example of the Parapet Sentry 4-3 for 5 cost or the Pillar of Amar a 5-5 five, five for 7. So Sentinels are expensive to play creatures and there are three different ways you can effectively play them. Uh, one is you might find some of the the few cheaper sentinels that are out there to uh, bring up your early game and then maybe have some interruption skip spells uh, another way is to have explorers you know such as uh, this but there's a bunch more explorers that support lower the cost of uh, sentinels and, and just you know boost them or what what have you and then there's another one which is kind of you just kind of uh, throw in the best of whatever you can in these lower um, cost cards and uh, have them support the uh, Sentinels. And so this last one that I described is the one that I do here. Um, uh, I'm going to try going describing it a bit different today so I'm going to go from uh, you know, basically one cost and up. So ascending cost order. So first of all I have here Dark Return in case uh, units die. So, you know, playing Sentinels, they're expensive. If they die permanently, that makes it even harder to, harder to deal with. Seek power, of course. And two, I've got uh, Desert Alchemist, a good interrupter and a good power fixer. Spirit Weaver, so again, a power fixer, not a bad blocker either. And it also benefits the uh, Sentinels later on because all of them, at least the ones in this deck, would typically have five or more toughness. Or, I mean, uh, power, attack power. Trailmaker, that's to get extra power out and um, do influence fixing. And I also have Seer. So, you have to, like, ramp up and protect yourself getting into sentinels so there's no sentinels activity at all for the first uh, two power so third power I have uh, the market cart Yvonne Dune Smuggler is an ambusher ambusher also makes it pretty good as a way to interrupt the enemy Jack uh, this deck plays quite a lot of red so I decided to put Jack in here sometimes he, he becomes the win condition himself but uh, you know sometimes you've got to make the game early I mean, just because Sentinels are coming out on turns 4 and up doesn't mean that that's how you should be... Uh, that shouldn't be the only way you rely on a win condition, or otherwise you know, someone can kill you on turn 5 and your Sentinels just came out on that turn. Um, Might Weaver. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, units with 5 or more deal double damage. So that makes them harder hitting. It's not a great unit, but... Uh, so I don't want it to always be in my hand because it's still a 2-2 two -two for 3. It's not very effective in that way. But if I could drop him in before a sentinel attacks or if I had no other choice, then it's not too bad. Uh, balancing that out, I have the Scorpion Wasp to um, ambush flying nasties. Oh, I missed this one, the Porcelain Mask. So this one is to control what's going on in the units, uh, the enemy player's hand, so that uh, silences a unit in the enemy's hand, and, you know, Sentinels have a lot of power, so Overwhelm is a, a good thing to have, right? Like, if you have, like, one huge Sentinel and it keeps getting blocked by one ones, well, this helps you get over that. Then, uh, back to three, Ancient Defenses, this is the, yeah, this is the first actual sent Sentinel-related card. When you play a Sentinel, it gets plus one attack. And then uh, summon, deal three damage to an enemy. So this is actually really good because you're dealing damage. It's like you're playing a torch plus it's a relic that buffs your um, your sentinels. 
So because you're upping the attack of your sentinels, that's why the porcelain mask is also even more important. Uh, okay, now down to four power, monolith guardian. This is really an excellent card as long as you have uh, relics, which is why I have relics as well. It gives you plus six plus six if you have a relic. It's kind of worthless if uh, you don't have a relic, but uh, quite good odds of getting one out. Um, Next one, uh, five power is power pet, power pet, power pet sentry, plus two plus two. While you have a, oops, we have a relic. So again, the relic synergy, deal three damage to the enemy player and three damage to an enemy unit with flying. So you can't always, you know, guarantee that the enemy is going to have flyers. So this one will sometimes be useful. There's this one that can also deal with flyers. Occasionally, this guy is dealing with flyers too. And there's also this, and this, and this. So there's lots of ways to creatively deal with flyers and other units that are attacking. Next, five cost spell, uh, play a five for Sentinel Exhausted, and it also has um, influence synergy. And, okay, uh, what else? Over to six, outdraw, draw, deal four damage to an enemy, and if I basically if I've done this after I've attacked, then I can get another four power. Uh, part of the reason of the, having this in here is to have more cards of a higher cost. I think I have some kind of synergy like that down here. Arcanum battery. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, before getting to that, uh, seven power is the pillar of Amar, which is uh, an excellent empower. Despite being an uncommon, every time you play a land after. The seventh power basically after you play this guy you get a 5-5 sentinel so just keep producing tokens and that's pretty awesome um to help seek power along i also have wrath of kyphus so each player discards their hand and then draws seven so that's if you know i have a lot of power but i have nothing in my hand and i can draw seven cards so with the enemy um but uh this is in early game and mid game, this is just to get power out of your deck. And then Arcanum Battery. When you play a spell with a cost five or more, play a one, five or Sentinel. Similar to this, right? Um, it costs one less for each of your yellow influence. So it usually doesn't cost eight. I mean, rarely does it cost eight, but it always costs three fire influence. So that can be tough. Uh, however, that's so why I don't have too many um, five cost spells or more, so I've got three of them. This is kind of a conditional one. I could increase this, maybe. I don't know. Um, not sure yet. Then, lastly, I have Clock Tower Sentinel. At the end of your turn, each of your units gets plus one. At the end of your turn, if this is in your void, then uh, your units in your void get plus one, plus one. Which is, again, reason for the dark return. Not very often it will be discarded, but if I have an option to discard it, then it still keeps working. It's hard to play this card because it's 9 power, right? Of course, Wrath of Kyphus could have it discarded as well. Alright, uh, then there's a the power. What's in my market? Uh, Sandstorm Scarf. It's like, uh, despite having a lot of anti-flyer cards, it's not quite enough, so I have a Sandstorm Scarf in there. The Zen and Temple. You know, increasing the toughness of your creatures with a uh, killer, extra card draw, it's all pretty good. Passage of Eons. I've been using this less and less recently because it's expensive. Although in some situations it's very effective. This has the added benefit here of working with the Arcanum Battery. Same with Soul's Rest. Take an additional turn. And I could also have all the units returned to each player's hand as well. And lastly, I have a huge sentinel here, the Royal Guard Guardian. Uh, you gain hearts equal to the number of cards in your void. So, I mean, by turn 10, you quite often have cards in your void. And infiltrate, create, and draw the Hall of the Lost Kings, which is... If you have more than 25 life, you can play five sentinels. I think I've only had that go off once. Very rare, but you got to have some kind of game ender 
Or otherwise, someone will end your game for you. Alright, uh, power curve. It's a bit different than quite a lot of mine, because uh, cl quite a lot of my other ones, because the influence is on 2 3, not much on 1, and then it dips for a bit and goes up around 7, so there is a danger of pulling expensive cards. But I mean, not really playing a Sentinel deck if I don't have some of these, right? Uh, that's also because of this heavy cost, that's also why the number of cards is greater. Uh, however, whittling this down might be a good idea, so I don't know. Perhaps the Clock Tower, te <laughs> clock tower Sentinel can go, I I'm not sure. Maybe some other changes. My balance of units to nons is 34 to 24, so what is that? 60-40 uh, uh, maybe? And uh, the color breakdown is yellow and red are quite even with a splash. Not quite a splash. A dab of <laughs> of shadow. So there you have it. That's my Sentinel deck. Um, it works okay. I've seen much better ones out there. I need to pay more attention to the most effective ones to be able to learn lessons from them. Um, so quite often when I get my ass kicked, I try to pay attention to what cards have uh, beat me. But uh, Sentinels isn't something... I haven't quite picked up the vibe yet. And I don't really go online to look for all the answers, so... I'm just trying to do it the uh, unnecessarily hard way. <laughs> Alright, and Sentinels aren't that well supported in the last two sets, so it is a bit of a struggle. And that's why you see it kind of... It's not a pure Sentinel deck, it's a lot diluted with other cards, like Jack, for example. However... Sometimes it holds its own, so let's see how it does. Here's the first match. Hmm, okay. Uh, got lots of seek powers, that's good. Uh, got a... This thing that stops things dead in its tracks, and I got a porcelain mask. That's, uh, that should be okay. Um, I'll get another red out, otherwise I won't have any chance of playing the Arcanum Battery later on. Then I won't be able to play this next turn. That's not the greatest move. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it is what it is. Should I go for black or yellow? Yellow. Black isn't too common in here anyway, so I'm just going to play that up. We'll get those influences going. Hug trains, what you got? Oh, these decks can be quite nasty. Lots of uh, combinations and such going on. Let's have to see what he's got there. Alright, two cards I'd want to get rid of right here. And this one kills a relic, so that's also something to keep in mind. He's got two of those. I guess I'll get rid of Barra. The weakest link, I guess. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do the Deadland. Play that out. Yeah, these two power decks with the um, even-handed golems are working really well. But they also are all very, very similar, so don't expect uh, a lot of variety. Okay. If this thing survives, I will be able to play. Get to play this in the next turn, won't I? Alright. So black or yellow? I'll go this with uh, black. There you go. Oh, right. I think I've, uh, I'm facing a tedious kill deck. I probably won't last very long. Because this is very much a unit centric deck and it doesn't have a lot of them so yeah all right well let's play power i'm gonna stand back gonna keep the card draw going all right oh he can just kill my 
Shadows darker. Right. That's just wonderful. Okay. Let's do that. What does he have? He has those grow dogs, right? What would I rather kill, this or this? I think I'll I think I'll do this one. Well, there goes that problem, hopefully. Or he's just oh it's void bound so he can't get it back. Okay, that's good. Otherwise you just bring it back and play it again and again and again. <laughs> no. Put them down. Is this one of these expensive decks? <laughs> I don't think I have a chance right now. Uh, well, a 7-7 seven, seven is still okay. I only played one card, so at least I only took one damage from this little asshole. Yep, there we go. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. I don't really have any answers right now. Um, yeah, see, like... Okay, well, that will make my unit tougher. I can only do three damage, though, so... Any enemy, all right. Let's just do that, then. Let's attack, because I got this guy. Or girl. Hard to tell. I think it's a girl. Probably got another kill spell, what do you think? That's what oh maybe he keeps Oh, grow it off, okay. We struggle and grow. We struggle and grow. Stand back. Skip the uh the change. Block kill that. And I'm probably dead next turn, so. Uh, well, I could get lifesteal out. That may save me. Probably not, though. All right. Well, whatever. Oh, well, that was kind of him. I. Uh, okay. This this attack would leave me with one life. So all he needs to do is one extra damage. Let's have a look here. Another Grota. Perfect. And grow. <laughs> okay. Touch well, there you go. Oh, that was a nice finish. I mean, at least it wasn't... Kill spell, kill spell, kill spell. I hate those decks. So, I mean, that's some variety to it, of course. Again, killed by flyers, right? I have so many ways of dealing with flyers, like porcelain masks here, uh, the power pet sentry, but it just it just doesn't roll. That's how it is sometimes. Uh, I think this is over the top. I'm gonna take those out. So. I think I'm at the same number of cards, I just shifted some things around to try to get better power out and try to get better board control and not get flooded with, you know, one-shot ineffective cards. Let's give it a play. I think the game I played earlier, actually, before the, before I did the recording, I, I did win. But it doesn't always work that way when, uh, you know, you're recording. <laughs> Okay, up against Bainsley? Oh, that's a lot of red. I'm seeing red here. Uh, yeah. Without a guaranteed three, I think I'd be hamstringing myself. Yeah, okay. Got some got some time here. Unless it's an ultra control deck, then it would be useless. <laughs> ah, good, a scout. That's good. I'm happy to see that. No, not what I want to see right now. I don't want to see an expensive spell card. I only have four power anyway. Sharp Ooh, I need to put an end to that. Oh, it has first strike too. I mean, uh, quick draw. Damn it. 
All right, well, that's a bad. That's really bad. <laughs> I already don't have a way to deal with that. So, like now, I regret not having the uh, the Sears. Okay. Future use. Don't see the big threat of that. Let's just play the depleted power. Alright. Uh, oh, I can play this as a 7-7, seven, seven, so there's that. I mean, probably have a response to it, but... You can feel them beneath the stone. Hmm. I need this guy out right now. Now if he ends this, there's no way for me to stop that unless I've got the answer in here by magic. Or if I draw the sentinel... whatchamacallit. Oh god, this is real BS. <laughs> uh, whatever, I don't even care, just... What? Oh, right, of course, I don't have enough influence. So, yeah, that was garbage. So, two garbage rounds in a row. This doesn't surprise me. This is how the Sentinel deck plays. Otherwise, you know, sometimes it goes alright for a while, and then sometimes it just flops. There you go, I've added six more cards in the form of four seers in hopes that I find the ballads. Yeah, I'm on a streak today. It's called a losing streak, damn it. <laughs> okay, fanat for to us. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um yeah, I have got a card I can't play, but everything else I can. Alright. I maybe I would have turned this into red. I don't know. Okay, um... Yeah, I can make use of that. I will have to transmute one of these two to get that. I think probably this one. Jack's more likely to save my butt in the mid-game, so... I'll do the uh, plunder and plunder this. Well, that's... What, two of those now? <laughs> so he's playing Zenon. Alright. Alright, let's turn this to the red power. Okay, now I've got access to the market. That's good. Can't play this yet, but uh, I'd rather target a unit anyway. So I've got, I've got a lot of answers, but not a lot of action, so... I could do one of these two. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Or could I just drop this in? Drop this in and trade up for what? Um... Nope. You can have it. Because I play a relic, this is a 7-7, right? So... Let's do another red. Um, two jacks and no plunder. I don't have power yet. Oh man, this is tough. All right, take it easy. No need to rush into it. Just like running off the cliff if I do. <laughs> well, there's two of them. Let's play one of them. Get the fireball started. Do you think Fanatus has a reaction? This is good. Now I can play Jack not for uh, double damage, but I can play him for single damage. I will play this. Let's see what answer... I mean, I presume there's some kind of kill me spell there. See now, I could try to wait for this one to attack and block with that. 
Okay, I'm just going to attack with this. Maybe I'll block with it. Nope, okay. The old flying ambusher with deadly, that's always useful. Oh, that's a lot of the colors that Fanatis is running. Ah, good, yes, come to me. I'm over here. Ooh. Well, I stopped the kill. That's a good thing. Well, I can win now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally got a win. Victory is sweet. A gold, please. Well, no, not right now. Let's just try it again. <laughs> so yeah, if you like what you're seeing so far, give a subscribe. Uh, give a follow. And uh, feel free to chime in. Give a comment also in the section down below. Alright, I'm going to redraw that. Because that's just a monocolor of power. Well, I got the uh, chance, so that should be okay. Gonna play it. Yeah, I'll do the scout first. Two torches. Yeah, I'll have. I'll take two reds. All right. Hmm. There's some things where I need more yellow, so I think I just wait. No, thank you. Uh, I just, I'll just wait, wait, see, wait, see. All right, drawing a sigil. Some kind of Russian-looking words here. I don't know whether it's actually Russian or not. Okay, a five. Can I get up to five? Yes, yes, I can. All right, let's let's wait. I won't be able to. Pl I yeah, I won't be able to play anything for five next turn. Anyway. Alrighty. All right, you're just doing that on purpose. Trying to psych me out. I wasn't born yesterday. I was born the day before. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't want to decimate. I need. Just power, thank you. Need to get rid of that, that's... It's five damage, I don't want to have to see. Oh yeah, this is a fast spell. I don't have a relic yet, but this could kill something with flying. If it comes out. I think this might be the better... The better card to play. Since, uh... I slowed him down. Yeah, alright. Unless, of course, he plays a flyer, then this one would have to come out because you can keep bringing that summon back. Uh, yellow? Yeah. Yellow is a lot more prevalent in here. Yeah, okay. I'll take only mild offense to that. Oh, it only costs three. I thought it would cost five. That's a good price. It's okay. If you've got another Annihilate, I've got another Dark Return. I wouldn't mind getting that uh, Lifesteal out. Aha! Right. I don't have... Okay. I think I just zap him with this. I think that's going to be better. Because I could also zap him with this and then get card draw. Yeah, let's just do it this way. And let's run in. Oh, you got something for me? Oh, you're gonna get a weakened meal in the next turn, are you, buddy? I 
I see. Well, he doesn't have a harsh ruler, otherwise he would have used it by now. I don't have five anymore, so that's putting this one down a bit. Maybe I could plunder this for the land and then make use of Jack. So yeah, I could ambush this in, change this into a sigil, and then drop this in the next turn. Hunt them down. Comes. Great, yeah. So. I think I'm gonna need to play this guy and double damage that. Stand back. I have to pressure him to block. And then zap him. That will do six, so if he doesn't block at all. Yeah. Okay. Go to yeah. uh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, I should have uh Use my destruction chant before I did that. I know hidden paths. The oh god, here we go. This is it's like I screw up, therefore I die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Small mistakes are fatal in this game, aren't they? Now what? Uh, now I'll probably draw a uh, what shadow sigil or something useful. Well. Okay, well I can't use that right now. I mean, I could, but I want to be able to do some zapping. Wow. I really need a sigil Shadow next turn. Yep. That's yeah, looking, looking shitty. Looking shitty. Okay. Uh, I get the power from this. Decimate. I'll be decimating down to four, right? Wait. Four? Yeah, okay, I'll decimate. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And... Direct damage. And then... Whatever you need. Get rid of those two. Hmm. So I've got a little bit back on on my side of the board. Okay. So Choose a path. I can do only three damage with this. Yeah. But at least I can draw the card. Ooh, what can I do with this? Units can't fly. Does three damage. And I could ball I could ball him with that. Yeah, alright. I'll just do that. Try to take some of his uh board superiority away from him. Yeah, I'll take that. Yep. Okay. Kill that. I won't be able to kill this anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna get rid of that. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, good moves. Uh... Sorry, guess they've caught up. <laughs> okay, that was a little awkward, wasn't it? All right, the crappy blight moth. Choose a path. Oh Jesus, another one of those. Do I have anything? Zenon Temple with Killer, maybe. Really? Jeez. The kick to the pants, isn't it? Alright, well. <laughs> Whatever you need. I love my work. It's all about the card draw. Card draw. 
Then he's gonna make this useless. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Turn him into a chump blocker, I guess. Yes, thank you very much. Alright, now what? Okay, that's not too bad. Remember when these were 5 4? That was bad enough. <laughs> were they 5 5? I think they were 5 4. Oh, great. Okay, so now I got nothing at all. Alright, and then. Why not just attack all out? Why not just attack all out? Oh, nothing I can do about nothing I can do with that either. There we go. Uh, nope. All right, I could block one of these. So I'm not. Oh wait, I oh, know I'm dead. Winged justice. He's just wasting time now. Uh, he's making more questionable decisions than I am. Yeah, so I'm just gonna downgrade that for the nth time. Doesn't do too well, does it? All right. Um, wouldn't mind to do a couple with another time deck. Something a bit more satisfying. I could do the twist deck. I've done that on the uh, video before. Transformer. Um. Bah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that. Risky, but I got the scout, and I have the seed, so that's really uh, my hope right there. I am going to pledge blue. Yeah. And then I think I have the glass hopper so I can bring that Terry Pterodon Terriax. That dude back again if I have that creature out. But what I really, definitely, absolutely need is more power. So it's three, 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 and then four, two. The average uh, cost of all of my cards is three. I'm counting the uh, the power card, of course. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Something's going on finally. Okie dokie. Another power card. Must be a power card. <sighs> okay, Scout. Masterot you. Masterot. Masterot. What is that? Is that like you for university? Okay, that's crap. Nightmare Star now, I, now I'm power screwed. Officially. Power screwed. My influence isn't great either. Draw a curse. Okay. Twice, cut once. What is this? The when the enemy draws the second card of their turn. We maintain the order. Ooh, this is better. Hey, when a player plays a stranger, they draw a relic from the top six cards of their deck and bottom the rest. Pay three and exhaust stranger rider, he gets... Okay. That's not an immediate threat. Um, so he's doing curses, eh? That's uh, green-blue. Transform I could play. Transform the unit into something that costs one more. I don't have a relic though, so that's kind of a downer. Let's try this. Rejoice! The shadow embraces us. I could have just gone with a blocker, but this might draw out one of his uh, 
deadly spells if uh, if he's holding on to them. Kill spells, seeds, whatever. Because I got lots of cards, so I could play this guy out. I mean, for the first three turns, this guy's benefiting everybody, right? The unraveling fanatic. Well, there you go. Sure, he's going to kill that. I can kill that relic. Now, how do I do that? Yeah. Patriot gets it. Oh, he gets it. He just he just gets it forever. So let's get rid of that right away. I think I get a Valkyrie, right? Sweet! The Abbey Graft. My processing has been complete. Oh, jeez. Gonna kill that now? Alright, well that was exciting. Um, hmm. Let's get some power out. Any way to kill that relic? Right, not right now. Red. Yellow. Okay, so I can't use the Edict of Lin Linray. Um, I'm thinking this one. Or I could just turn everything into flyers. Alright, let's, let's attack see what he does. Oh, I guess maybe I'll just transform this thing. Yeah, that'll do. Turn it into a pointy headed potato. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yes. Of course I don't have uh, that card in here. You know that one? Uh, Alright, you can attack. So I'm sure you're trying to make me block for some reason. Okay. Um... I wonder if it, I bet he has flyers in there. I can play Sodi. Fresh kills make the best pelts. I mean, it seems like the kind of deck that would have flyers in it. So this car can block, right? Oh, I just can't attack. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good deal. It's better than this, like the one cost stun. I wonder why he chose that over the stuns. Oh, he's probably just got all the stuns in his hand, uh, in his deck somewhere. Hmm. Ooh. There's the flyer. Okay. Um I could seed it. I think I just want I just want to nuke it with that. What curse is this? Oh no, it's not a curse. Alright. I'll just try to attack with that. Double block. That's fine. As long as you're weaker, I can kill you. It's a bit hard to attack, though. Well, so that's fine. I can attack. Cause I want the I want the card draw, basically. Yeah, I should attack with this one as well. Ah, well. I make all my great decisions after the choice has been made. <laughs> Should TM that, right? Alright, what you got for me? Is it another you can't do this spell? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna seize your ass. Okay. So, eat that. And let's go for the attack. And I'll be able to get the hit in, so that means I'll be able to draw the card. I don't think there's any much for fast spells in here. Oh, well, there we go. Got rid of the goat. Let's do the wordy, twirly, makeshift barrier there. Ooh. Scouty land. This is going better than sentinels anyways. Even if I don't pull this off. That many cards, you could just, what, harsh rule me? <laughs> I need uh, some more pride leader. Why is he locked out? Oh, because of the Abbey Graft. Ah. Well, that's sure gonna make it hard to get rid of that Abbey Graft. No hesitation. 
Oh yeah. And you're gonna do this. Okay, you're gonna do that. Fine. Okay, you can turn a unit into a frog. That's just amazing. A scout. Okay, that's good. We can get some transform going on. You can attack with this, right? Go on with this. Have a response. Master Rot you. Come on, what you got? Alright, so. Oh, there's a unit there. So. I will keep everything. Start building up a couple of units in here because. This kind of deck sometimes has. Uh, no hesitation. Harsh rules in it. I would have played the harsh rule, I guess. All right. I don't have a way to kill off the curse. Oh yeah. No hesitation. There you go. Um. What is this? Turn two. Uh, I guess I'll do this. Listen and transform that. Should I keep this? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Wait, how much does it cost to drop this down? Three, okay. I'll just do that. Oh, right. Ah, duh. I'm so blur. Of course I will do that. It's a transform deck. Of course, he's got the, uh, the freezing curse. How many fellow rooks? He's got rid of three of those, at least. Our vengeance is swift. All right. Adventure is everywhere. Now you won't be doing that another time. Rescue rabbit. What is this? Pay two. All right. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just getting rid of you. And then this is just an attack, right? So let's just bump this up. Okay, you can do some stuff now. How do I deal with him? Whatever, it's just attack. Although I got tons of choices anyway in my position. Gonna block with the frog? Yep, there you go. Would be nice if I could get this to go off. But I'm guessing it's gonna use the freeze on it. There you go. Permafrost. That's what I'm thinking about. And this can attack. Except I'll be able to transform it. <laughs> I can just transform it down and up and attack. I don't know if he realizes that. Alrighty then. Maybe I should, uh. Hmm. He probably. He only has one more feller, feller oak in his uh, deck. I'm not sure if he'd kill that. This gives me the Teriax. I think this is where I'm going with this. Getting more units out as well. And. This cannot attack, so I want to play this. Okay. Measure twice. All right, let me think. Once. What would this be? Uh, man, he's played a lot of them out. Detain, or something that has a permanent, or the one that gives a permanent negative to the uh, attack value. Oh, sweet. There's one that gives like what minus three or minus four attack and minus one health. So he's probably running right out of choices. The two best choices are the one where you can't attack and the freeze. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for coming by, and uh hope you all have a great evening. Have a great morning, good evening, or good night, wherever you're from. See you later. Bye bye.